Black Arrows and we're continuing our review of Parrot's new Anafi AI drone. I should say up front that um, <clears throat> this drone will need to go back. We haven't been gifted the drone and we're certainly not incentivized in any other way to leave a glowing positive uh, review of this. Um, it, it is um, very much a transparent review. review. Um, we're interested to see if this is a potential upgrade path for us. Um, and Parrot are very keen to see how it sits with commercial operators, uh, the features we find useful um, and any challenges that we come across. And they're very happy for us to share the content um, that we have been doing. So without further ado, this video is um, looking at the photo comparison. So again, the Black Arrows, are, uh, we specialise very much in capturing land with photogrammetry. So that's capturing um, sites or very large areas um, in 3D, which can then be processed into high, resi high resolution 2D maps um, and or um, 3D models, which is generally used in site evaluations, in planning, in design and architecture and so forth, and also estate management. So <clears throat> in addition to that, we also do building surveys um, but we don't we, we don't just stop at taking photos we actually capture buildings in 3d and this allows clients to zoom in um, have a look at high detail make annotations on models and then share those with subcontractors and so forth and, and helps improve their workflow and information sharing so we're not looking at this then from a creative point of view we're not we don't do weddings and events and um aerial videography and so forth um, so we're looking at how these images compare from a detail point of view and, and ultimately the key output looking at the photogrammetry so you can hear in the background the swirling of the desktop as it is processing some of that photogrammetry from this location um, and that'll come up in the next video um, but this one we're just looking at the how the photos compare um, Hopefully you won't accuse me of eking out this information, but I thought it's just interesting to take the time and um, I'm limited to 10 minutes on LinkedIn. So I'm trying to keep it as concise as possible, but I do like to waffle. So um, the comparison we have here. So on the left is DJI's um, Mavic 2 Pro and on the right is Parrot's Anafi AI. So the reason we're not taking the latest drone, um, A, we don't have it, but B, um, the, the, the latest drone being Mavic 3 and then the, the literally this week I think it was is the the Mini 3 Pro which has come out from DJI as well. So I'm looking at this from a genuine operator point of view and I have found that most people in the market are using a Mavic 2 Pro the same as we have here. Um, we use fixed wing drones as well and so we have uh, a number of um, Sensefly EBs, so the EB platform, which we've used for um, over five years, has been is very good, very stable, and great for large areas, but you can't move the camera. So when you need to get directional shots, or you're doing smaller sites, um, or you're doing building surveys, that's when you pull in a rotor drone. So <clears throat> the Mavic 2 is, is what we found what I found is um, the most popular drone out there and similar to us, you may be then looking at your next upgrade. So the Mavic 3 or the maybe the Mini 3 Pro might be something you're considering, obviously very different price points and, and, and different specs, but also the Anafi AI might be relevant. And that's kind of why we're looking at it in that way. So when we look at the actual hardware specs, on the left here with the Mavic 2 Pro, that's using that Hasselblad one inch sensor with a factor of pixel, pixels, excuse me, of uh, 20 million. Now on the right, the Anafi isn't using a one inch sensor, it's half size CMOS sensor. Now that is using the quad buyer array. So in layman's terms, I'm being the layman here, um, but in layman's terms, ultimately around each pixel, the four pixels around each pixel are aiding that pixel. So they're sort of working four times the amount, as it were. Ultimately, the affected pixels is 48 million, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it is over twice the quality. And that's what we're looking at today. So you can immediately see there's a difference in the warmth, in the colouring, uh, the colour profile of the images, and also in the size. So 
on the right with the Anafi AI. That's eight. That's easy to remember. Eight thousand uh, six hundred. No, sorry, I said that. Eight thousand and by six thousand pixels. Um, so you can see the sizing is different. Uh, on the left, I'm not going to try and remember it, but it's basically five thousand, five and a half thousand, shall we say, by three and a half thousand, give or take, um, pixels. You can check this online, but ultimately there is a difference there. Um, I've tried to take the photos from the same position, but I am flying them one after the other, not at the same time. Um, so they're not perfectly aligned. They're both taking it 25 meters um, from the ground and both pointing in the general direction. Right, so same rock we're both at the same actual size um, level of zoom so we it obviously hasn't been taken at the exact same position um, but you can see how the detail is processed here you can see there is a softening the software here um, is, is softening the pixels and you can see like it's got this sort of squirrely effect as it's trying to join up the information if we look there on the Mavic as we zoom in there's a lot more pixelation again we're not taking from the exact same position so we don't have to take it too literally but it's interesting to see when at um, a high zoom level um, the level of detail that is or isn't there so if we come back out and he says there you go and if we they're about equidistant here so if we look at this building we can zoom in in the distance so interestingly enough this not presently but back in the day when David Cameron was Prime Minister he stayed in this house so um, the fact for the day so we're about the same level of zoom here so you can see how the information is processed slightly differently there's some pixelation going on here but it's not too bad um, and here it's it has been softened and you can see how the software is trying to fill in the information here and there's these sort of squirrels that come from it um, it does look sharper um, and that may well help in the photogrammetry process but we will see so if we go back to something that's slightly more comparable if we look at the different heights of these nadir shots so i've taken them at 50 75 100 and the UK max 120 which is uh, 400 feet in old money so we'll look at the 50 and um, the 50 here from the Anafi so if we zoom in um, on the Mavic and we'll use the bench here first so so we can see that started to lose its detail About the same size there so you can see it's sharper here um, on the on the uh, Anafi AI um, you can see where um, it's been softened certain edges but that should process within photogrammetry sharper and uh, better detail um, but we will see from those results so let's get out and let's just jump up a two let's well let's jump to the extreme here and there you go one two there you go so let's pick a different object let's zoom in here on the building so do we pick up more detail so we're about at the same level of zoom I'll come out a touch so you can see it's a touch sharper here it's certainly blurring at this level of detail here on the left in with the Mavic. There's certainly a, a level of blurring. And if when you look at the ridge lines of the roof um, on the Anafi, it definitely looks looks tighter. So interesting, interesting. Not super, super difference. Um, but we'll see when we get into the photogrammetry what happens um, if you'd like me to send you these images then let me know and I can uh, send them on to you and you can have a little look yourself but um, we'll see in the next video um, how that helps and how that works in the uh, in the actual results with the photogrammetry all right keep watching and look out for the next video